Good morning, good morning. Coach Scott here on a Monday morning. If you guys are in Northern California, you got a lot of snow. So the beanie makes sense. And as always, go Hawks. I know. Our week has, our, our season's been over the last couple weeks. So I guess all in all, my, uh, my season's been over. So I don't know what everybody's talking about all of these uh, playoffs. I don't even get it. Okay, so here we are, Monday. Put a little goal in my head to make sure this lasts like, seriously, snow. I'll take a picture, I'll send it. Um, Mondays, you know, the thing I just put in the, in the little post, guys and ladies, is that what is for sure is we all have the beginning of the week, right? We all have a Monday. And if there's some of you guys that are like, well, my Monday is actually having it off and it's not my Monday, you get what I'm saying. Everybody has a Monday, everybody has a beginning of the week. The difference between some people in the beginning of the week and not beginning of the week is their mindset and how they're looking at it. For some, it's such a bummer that, you know, that it's the beginning of the week, that the weekend is over and they have to go to work. So that on itself kind of sets the foundation for how we're going to approach things, how we're going to uh, accomplish specific tasks that day, that week. And so this whole topic, right, I said change takes what? Well, here's the thing with even our mindset on our Mondays, you know, change takes, takes change, all right? Um, the way that we look at our days, the way that we look at our events, um, our tasks for the day, if we're super bummed out about it, we need to change something that we're doing, all right? If we're not excited about Mondays, we need to do something about it, right? So the question is, what do we do? If there is something that we do not enjoy, we need to figure out how are we gonna spin that to enjoy it? So here, here's my perspective, um, and here's the thing. Change takes change, all right? We'll put it in any category that you want. If you don't like your job, right? If you don't like the way you feel in your clothes, in your swimsuit, uh, the when you stand in front of a mirror, um, if you don't like you don't like that ratty car that you're driving, if you don't like um, the sh the jacket that you got, like I'm now I'm just kind of getting a little crazy. Here's my thing, right? Is if you don't like it. If you don't enjoy it, then you need to change it. And I'm using material things because that's an easy thing to kind of relate to. If you don't like the circle of friends that you're with because nobody supports each other, everybody's out for themselves, there's no investing them into you and you into them, then I would argue we should probably change that. Um, if you're unsatisfied with your job, we should probably change that. Not saying that you have to change your job, but maybe there's stuff going on at your job that maybe you're wanting to advance. Maybe you're wanting to maybe do something different within that group. So it's gonna take you changing your current status to do something different. And the thing about change is change takes change, meaning we usually stick in a rut, in a pathway, in a, a comfort zone because it's comforting, meaning there's not a lot of effort, right? If I have a job and I'm not super pumped about it, but um, I got a job and, you know, and somebody's like, hey, Scott, how's your day going? I'm like, same shit, another day. Um, that might be an indication that I'm in a position that I'm not willing or I'm in a, in a, in a place of my life that I'm not too pumped up about, um, but I'm also too lazy to, to do anything about it, right? So, as, as I'm complaining, I really have no real room to complain because if I'm not happy where I'm at, I need to take some effort and some initiative to change it, right? So it's a real easy solve. Change takes change. If I'm not comfortable in my skin, if I'm not comfortable in my clothes, 
if I don't like to go out in public, I don't like to be in groups because I'm uncomfortable with my weight or the way my body looks, or just in general, right? Even maybe I don't go to the gym because I'm not comfortable with the way my body looks, then I would say we need to change something, right? We need to change something. And yes, change is uncomfortable. Change is not meant to be an easy thing because if change was easy, everybody would have their bomb ass jobs that they want. Everybody would be looking as, as lean and, and tough as they want to look. And everybody would be uh, killing it in their fill in the blank of their life, right? So if it was easy, you know it. I mean, this isn't rocket science what I'm saying. Everybody would be doing it, right? Everybody would be doing it. You know, if uh, getting to work on time was super easy, right? Everybody would be doing it. You know, if waking up at four o'clock in the morning was easy, everybody would be doing it. You know what I'm saying? So just think about this, is the things that you want, like this is what I, what I would do, I really encourage, is, is if you have a pen and paper right now, I'd write down one, two, three. Three things, uh, maybe habits that you have, things that are in your life that you have that you're not super pumped about and that you wanna change. Now, you can totally post below, that would be super cool, but that you want to change because what it's gonna do for you to change that is you have to get uncomfortable again to do it, you know? Um, I always, always go back to gym analogies because it's super easy, but it's also, I can also go straight to um, not having your dream job where you're currently at right now, all right? Now, the things that I would say, and these are my steps to change, is identify. The first thing you need to do is you need to identify what you're not happy about, you know? Like, uh, your job, right? Or your, uh, your body, or, or your finances, or, I mean, all of that. I mean, all of that. Somebody's gonna say, hey, Scott, how are you doing today? And I should be giving a real answer. Like, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing great, you know? Um, the other part is, once you've identified what you're not pumped about, then maybe the next thing to that, like you have a list of one, two, three, and the next thing I would say is like, like for me to, let's say, uh, let's say my job, let's say my job's my number one. The next thing for me to, to identify is like, what would need to change for that unhappiness to maybe to be happy, right? So maybe is uh, finally, you know, ask my job, my, my boss for a promotion, you know, offer, hey, what else can I do in that company to kind of get to a different position, you know? Um, maybe it could even be this. Maybe if you're not happy with your job because you show up each day and you're just like, ho-hum, here I am. I'm gonna get on Facebook real quick. Oh man, it sucks that I'm here, right? Maybe instead of that, maybe the change is this. I'm gonna go to work and I'm going to, one, be super fun to be around. That could be step one. And then two, I'm just gonna rock it. I'm just gonna kick butt at what I do and then be the best at it, right? Be the best at what you do. And move forward to that promotion or to that new skill set that you wanna learn, you know? Let's say that it's, it's, it's training, it's, it's working out, it's weight loss. Like, I'm totally not happy being overweight right now. Like, I'm not happy about it, right? Now, sitting and talking about it is step one, but probably for maybe five to 10 minutes, we should probably talk about it. And then after that five, 10 minutes that we're talking about how unhappy we are with our weight, you know, with our weight gain or with our uh, athletic ability or our inability, or whatever, you know, okay, we've identified, I feel totally unhappy because I'm fat. And I'll tell you this, this is my story. I was, I was in the Navy, I was sitting in a meeting, and I had been on the ship for maybe a couple months, and I realized I was just getting fat, okay? So I have this tendency, if I'm not active, if I'm not watching what I eat, that I just, I just start to gain weight, and not good weight. And it was that moment it's so cool that I can totally remember this. It was that moment that I was like, well, crap. I need to change this because I uh, am not just going to get in shape. I'm not just going to look in shape by, uh, <laughs> on itself. 
And so you have to identify that. You have to identify and then you have to execute. So once you've identified, you're going to then execute. And once you execute, and for when it comes to like working out, when it comes to uh, just changing that part, you have to be in it for the long run. Meaning, let's say that like for five, 10 years, I didn't really give my fitness any attention. Let's just say that, all right? So when you start in your exercise journey, uh, and in month one or even month, we'll say month one, let's say in two weeks, two weeks, month one, right? You're like, shoot, man, I haven't lost any weight. You know, and then like month two, you're kind of getting bummed out a little bit more, right? And then shoot, you know, month three. Here's the thing, right? Let's put it into perspective. You didn't do anything for five to 10 years and you want to yield some results in like a month, right? Now, is change going to occur? Heck yes, it's going to occur, but it's going to take a lot more than you just showing up for a month. So my whole point of telling you this is um, stay patient and stay in it for the long run. You know, when you start, this is what I tell everybody that I work with, is what is your goal 12 to 18 months? Like 12 to 18 months, not like three months, right? Not three months, um, 12 to 18 months because I want you to think long term. I want you to think big picture, your health, big picture. And, and I stop there. I stop there because we have to see the big long picture, big picture, before we can start to make those specific goals. It's just like, um, I mean, it's really like business. It's like any of the people that I'm working with, um, working on business mentoring with. You know, we sit down and we create, what is your, what is your goal? What are these specific things? Boom, 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 right? And then we draw out the big picture or we bring the picture a little bit bigger to the point where you start thinking, hey, in two months, this is where I wanna be at. In six months, this is where I wanna be at. In 12 months, this is where I wanna be at. In 18 months, my whole point of all that, you guys, is that we have to plan for big pictures and down the road so that at month two, I'm not giving up, you know, because I need to get to month 18. Like, I have a goal for month, month 18. You know, when I get uh, frustrated at month six, because I mean, hey, I've been working hard for six months, that I don't quit before I hit my 12 month goal, right? I mean, you have to think big picture. When any of my athletes start training, we need to start thinking about those pictures so you don't quit after three months after frustration, right? Uh, the other part I'd say, just kind of with nutrition wise, is if you wanna lose weight, we have to, have to, figure out what are we supposed to eat, meaning calorie wise. That has to start there. I have a hierarchy that I can totally talk about later on, but that is it. Hey, how many calories do I need to eat every single day to lose weight because I'm putting out X amount of energy? If I'm not losing weight on month one, and again, let's go back to it, it's been about five to 10 years that I haven't given that any type of um, importance, attention, you know, like we have to think 18 months down the road, you know, think about it. You got to give yourself time. It's like a relationship. You have to give yourself time to get to know each other. You have to give yourself time to actually experience ups and downs with each other. Big picture, right? You got to give yourself enough time. If you see, are we right for each other, right? And it comes the same thing with friendship, you know, like when you guys are hanging out with each other, just, just in general, right? You meet somebody, oh, let's hang out, you know? Um, you gotta give yourself time to nurture just a friendship, you know? When I hang out with any of my dudes, right? We didn't just start being dudes uh, right away. We didn't start talking about real stuff right away. But what we did is, is little by little, we started hanging out. So we started to build trust, and then we started building bigger trust. And that's how big pictures like goals are attained is that you cannot do anything short term. You cannot do anything short term and expect to yield something of value. In my, in my opinion, in my opinion, that's what I think is you got to put in the time, you got to put in effort and you have to have to go through seasons 
to make sure, and then actually like, kind of like prove it to yourself too, that you have to through, you have to go through your ups and downs to still make it to the end, right? Too many people, you know, they start a program, they start a business, they start training, they start a diet, um, they start a relationship, you know, and right when it gets a little rocky, they quit, right? They just kind of give up. Like it's easy to get along, but it's hard, right? Once you kind of bump heads, and then you don't have, you can't, you can't get past that, right? Just like with a diet, just like with a nutrition program. So just like with a business. So um, change takes change. Remember, change takes change. I'll say that again. Change takes change. And it's not going to be comfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable. Habits, right? Habits are uh, something that you do repetitively over and over and over again. And if they're habits that are not promising to you and like your long big picture of things, then we need to change that habit, right? If, um, you know, being, uh, maybe just staying in your house all the time, you know, that's your comfort zone. People are like, hey, so-and-so, want to come out and hang out? You're like, nah, I'm going home to fill in the blank, right? It's really important what you're saying. Like, you always probably give an excuse of why you're not going to go out and do something. Um, but maybe you change that, right? Maybe... Maybe, just maybe, somebody says, hey, so-and-so, why don't we go get some lunch? Let's do it, right? One thing, you're going to feel, oh, it's ruining or not ruining. It's going to disrupt my, uh, my rhythm, right? So you usually say, eh, let me think about it. How about this? Right at the get-go, you say, let's do it. And just know, it's probably going to be uncomfortable, meaning it's probably going to updo, uh, updo or kind of unsettle any type of uh, rhythm you have or schedule you have. But let's just, let's just do it. Maybe that's like a really good idea. It is a good idea, by the way. Um, but if you're normally a person that says no to everything, why don't you say yes? If you're a person that normally says yes to everything, why don't you say no? Right? There's always one person all the way to the far, to the left, to the right, you know, that is definitely a yes person, definitely a no person. Meet in the middle. Say no if you're a yes person. Say yes if you're a no person. All right? So change takes change. I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment below. What are you wanting to change and what are you willing to put out there as a vulnerability point of what you're willing to change? All right? If uh, you like what you're liking, please leave a comment below and like this. Have a great day. Bye.